Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning to you all. You are this morning. I would like you to begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's begin to welcome his presence. Without him, it is just an ordinary gathering. Let's begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit of the living God, we welcome you this morning. Come and rule and reign. Come and take preeminence. Come and do what only God can do this morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Just begin to bless his name, glorify his name, exalt his name. Begin to magnify God above that circumstances, above everything. God, you are highly lifted up. You are worthy to be praised. There is nothing to be compared with you. What I'm going through is not nothing to be compared to where you are. You are above all. Begin to worship him. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him. I'm seeing somebody in the spirit. You're having a problem on your ears. Start as a week ago. At least six weeks ago, something started. Three weeks ago, you're noticing it. You have the pain in one of your ears. And it's to a point of like dripping with what just. You know, just feel some liquid there, but pain on the ear. You have observed, you've noticed, you've heard of like the mom went through this kind of pain before, went through pain on your ear. But the one you're going through now, I don't know who this is. I don't know who the Holy Ghost is talking about. If the person is here or it just have to do with somebody you know. The mom has gone through some problem on the ears before. I don't know what kind of thing, but because it's currently going through certain challenge on the ears. This, wherever you are, or you're connected to such a person, raise your hand now. Because the Holy Ghost is moving. He wants to do something about whatever that issue is today. The problem on the ears. I don't know, it's like a pain. It does not become something else, but there's this unease in the ear. And some kind of little bit with coming forth. So it's gradually. So, but the spirit said I should, that I should identify who that person is or whoever is here connected to such a person and I should pray. And I should pray. They seem kind of like having problem on the ear. The mom also has had issue with the ear. Please, whoever this person is, whoever this person is, I'd like you to raise your thumb up so that I can pray for you. Now, everybody just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, thank you. 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 I'm waiting for that person because the Spirit of the Lord is talking to me that I'm going to be praying over every form of ear challenge. There are some challenges in the ears of certain people. Just it's something something is coming up. Some find certain pains in the ear. That they are hearing like something is just you know something is being affected gradually. The Spirit of the Lord says I should pray. I'm going to be praying this morning. And he will be touching every year. We will be touching eardrops. We will be taking away certain kind of things this morning. I'm waiting. Whoever is that person who has a challenge on one of the ears and it brings out certain flu. If there's anyone like that here, raise your hand or turn around you. This is a challenge. There's something about the ear having certain pain. 
and there's a leak, there's something that comes out of the ear. I want to pray for that person. Thank you, Father. Now, this morning, Okay, I see a hand of awesome God. Can you unmute yourself? Let me talk to you, please. Good morning, Pastor. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. Um, it's because of um, the word you just gave on um, the ear. It's my daughter has been having this, like she has this this child, like it's irregular, it's abnormal for I've not seen that kind of um ear wax on on that kind of frequency. She gets it comes out frequently, but she's not complaining of any pain in the ear. I don't know. So I thought I would just key in. Okay, but how long has she been going through that? Long enough, I can't even remember now. It's been more than a year. Like okay. she has not complained of a pain particularly, but the ear, then the ear wax discharge is just something I've not seen before. All right, Father, we are praying this morning. Pray for what's the name of your daughter? Michelle. I pray for Michelle this morning. I command in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every challenge with the ear cease today. Amen. Let Wax be dried up and Amen. let that be healed now in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree by the Spirit of God that the hand of God touch our ears. Amen. This last time there will be such kind of unusual wax from that ears in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I'm praying for everyone on the prayer altar this morning who has any challenge with any part of the ear. We'll have somebody, maybe a cousin, maybe, maybe someone around you who has that barabra has it. Because I can see in the spirit right now that there's somebody here, there's somebody connected to you. The husband of that person has a very big challenge with one of the eardrops. I'm praying mm. for everyone on the prayer altar this morning who has anyone connected to them or themselves, who have any challenge with one of the ears or the both of the ears, I pray today that the healing power of Jesus will touch these ears right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now I see the designs of Debbie. Debbie, I see your hand up. Can you talk to me? Yes, sir. Good morning, Daddy. How are you doing, please? I, my small girl, my father, she has, she, mm, she has not been, she has challenge with the ear. She doesn't hear. How long has that been, please? No, she, since she was born, she has not been hearing at all. How, how old is she now? She was born 2001, meaning she's almost 22. All right, let she us has, believe. Let's believe God. She has autism, sir. All right, let's believe God for healing for her. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree consigning that ears, it shall be popped open in Jesus' name. The healing power of God will touch that ear Day. Father, mm -hmm. if words are your words, not mine, that means the Spirit of God is going to be moving because the utterances are made this morning. I command that ears mm -hmm. to heal and I command divine intervention in the condition of our health right now in the name of Jesus. Father, confirm your word with signs and wonders. I command that ears to open. Let her begin to hear. Let that challenge she's mm -hmm. going to Spirit of that affliction begin to live her now and let there be mm -hmm. testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because you are her. It's done. Thank in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now, before we go into the place of prayer, 
I am declaring one more time again, I decree everyone who has any challenge with the ear. I don't know who the word of knowledge I'm praying now is for, a challenge of the ear, and they said, if the ear is not taken, the ear will be lost. The ear will go deaf. I pray for the recovery of that ears in Jesus' name. I pray for the in power of Jesus. We decree in the name of Jesus. It is done in Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me that there are certain people here spiritually, their ear is blocked from hearing good news. Everybody, if you can, put your hands on your ears. I'm praying this morning, every spiritual blockage that has been placed spiritually to ensure that you will not hear good news with your ears. We command that spiritual blockage to be removed this morning in Jesus' name. We command that spiritual blockage to be taken off in Jesus' name. We command that spiritual blockage right now be removed by the fire of God, be removed by the power of God, be removed by the hand of God. Anything blocking your ears from hearing the good news you have been expecting by the power of the Holy Spirit, we remove it as your hands are laid towards your ears. Baruke ye bakuri bakasi brachadi bakusi bacha. Gaya kadi kosiya. That thing shall be removed in Jesus' name. Your ears is pop open. The good news you are expecting will come in three days. It will so will come in the next twenty four hours. We decree good news. You will hear good news. You will hear good news in the name of Jesus. Now the Spirit says to pray for as many that the enemy has been causing to hear strange voices. Strange voices. Right now, where any realm, any source, where straight voices are coming to you, I block that source by the blood of Jesus. We hinder that source. We decree that from today, strange voices will no longer speak to you. All the voices that are speaking death, speaking death, bringing about the death, and speaking, suggesting negative things to you. I block that door now. I close that demonic door now. I decree whoever is going through such affliction, from this morning, hear strange voices no more in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because I know it's done in the name of Jesus. There's somebody here, I can see you, but I'm not yet going into the individual prophecy yet. There's somebody, the Lord just make me understand. There's somebody that is connected to you. You're connected to the lady. For the man itself that is marrying the lady is a white person. The person has a problem with one of the ears, like the left ear. Now, but this morning, the power of God is going to touch that ears. The person has it. The, the white guy has a lot of health issues. Apart from the ear, I don't. He has some challenge with his heart. But this morning, God wants to heal that person so that He will draw that person to Himself by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree the miracle that will make that person to come to Jesus, to be drawn to him. Let that miracle take place in that person's life now in the name of Jesus. Let those health conditions right now receive the touch of God now. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is somebody right here I saw that your documents have been approved. I see it released in three days. I saw somebody in the spirit that certain papers, they said they've approved all of them. And I'm seeing certain things that in the next three days, you are going to hear good news in Jesus' name. There are certain good news that belong to certain people here that cannot wait for three days. The Lord said, because it has been pending for a very long time. We are decreeing. Everybody can we begin to decree before I prophesy it. Begin to decree every long-awaited dream, long-awaited good news that has stayed for too long. I receive them now. I draw them forth now. I command them forth now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Some things that has happened in the spirit, you have even forgotten about it because you didn't see it. But I see certain things happening. Some things will not wait in three days. Some things cannot wait in three days. We decree this morning on the prayer order. Good news that has been pending for a long time. We declare them released this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Thank you, Hol
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody I'm seeing. Somehow a thought come to your heart. I see the ceiling fan of your house could fall and fall on you or fall on and injure somebody. And apart from that strange thought coming to you, there have been strange voices you have been hearing about death, about something bad happening. Please, wherever you are, can you raise your hand now? Because this morning, the Lord is delivering you. Please, wherever you are, there's this thing. Each time you look in your room, something looks like as if, if this fall, fan does fall down and just, you know, it comes like that thought comes to you. And apart from that, some strange voice. Please, wherever you are, I want you to raise your hand. I want to pray for you. I want to break something around your life. I just received that information about somebody who it comes as if, if this fan just fall down or whatever it is. If this also thing just happened, the enemy has been bombarding your, your, your mind with strange negative thoughts. But this morning, please raise your hand. I want to pray for you, identifying you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I see somebody this morning. There's a leg I'm seeing. There's a leg that is tied in the spirit. The enemy is saying that that leg, the, 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 the problem that we start with that leg is the enemy said the final point is that they will cut that leg. He said they will eventually cut that leg. And he said it will just start like a wound, like something small. There are pity because here. I pray for that leg. I don't know that leg I'm talking about, but let the intention of the enemy be cancelled. Let the agenda be hindered. Let witchcraft or activity over that leg be reversed. Right now, I command that leg should be healed. Let that hell leg be delivered. Let that leg not be cut off eventually. I decree in the name of Jesus. Whatever is that challenge concerning that leg. Let that challenge be taken over right now in Jesus' name. I don't know who I'm talking to. There's another word of knowledge the Lord is speaking to me about. He said there's somebody here. When you were growing up, there was a particular kind of person, a particular kind of child that stayed with you people that was talking somehow like an imbecile. He cannot talk well, cannot hear well. And that was a long time ago. But presently now, the enemy is trying to make certain fond of those things. It brings back the memory of that kind of child. And the enemy is trying to make you feel such thing is coming on your children. Such thing is coming on your children. There was a particular child. I don't know what the child, but that child has problem with speech, problem with whatever the way the child behaves. That stayed with you people when you were growing up. All right? Now, the enemy is bringing such thing up. Please, wherever you are, raise your hand because that thought, if it is not reversed, if it is not cancelled, it might eventually take place. But as the Lord has revealed this morning, God wants God want to show mercy. So please, wherever that person is, I want you to raise your hand because God is reversing that evil spirit back to wherever it has come from. It will not clear that evil mission around your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because there was something that happened at that time. It was like said eventually they should take this child back to wherever the child was from. People were hungry that they know this child. So the child was forced away back to wherever the child had to be forced to. But the child was brought to live with people when you were growing up. The child, there was problem with speech and so many things were wrong around that child. Please, you would remember that you took one. And the enemy, you have the picture of that particular moment has returned back to you severally now that you are on your own with your kids. And the enemy is trying to want to play with your mind. I want to pray for you. Please, wherever that person is also, raise your hand. I want to pray over that. We want to go into prayers. Thank you, Father. I see a hand up. A-O. Can you unmute yourself, please? Good morning, sir. How are you doing, please? I'm fine, sir. All right. Um, 
the word of knowledge about the leg. Yesterday, I don't know what happened. I stepped somewhere. I cannot remember whether it was somewhere in my house or out, but I just felt a sharp pain in my leg mm. um, around my uncle area behind that area there. And I've been limping a bit since yesterday. I'm not sure for this morning, but as if every time I step, I would feel the sharp pain. You feel the sharp and pain? I, yes. All right. I want you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is that, oh God, by the power of your spirit, I command every strange deposit, strange arrows, right now be fired out back in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to, where you feel that pain, I want you to hit that place for me three times. I decree whatever my heavenly father has not planted, come out! Amen. So if you stepped on something, if something was agenda negatively for you, by the God's spirit, I decree terminated in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. If this is an attack, let this attack be canceled in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever is the cause of it, by the spirit of God, be addressed now. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Anointed name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay, I see. I see. Mommy Ajebu stands up. Good morning, good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Mommy. Good morning, Pastor. Are you? Yes. I'm good in, morning. I'm in serious pains. My leg, my knee, from my knee down. I can't. I couldn't even. I haven't slept properly this night. My knees. My All knees right. so hurting. Father, we are praying. I pray over that nail. I decree the name of Jesus. I ask the Father, by the power of your spirit, I decree that pain to go now. Let the healing power of Jesus come upon your legs right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's Repeat, go. Thank you, Father. Thank in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, mommy. Thank you, Pastor. All right. Bukola, can I pray for Bukola right now? All right. Can Bukola unmute herself? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Can we sing this song, people of God? We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Fail. Forevermore. Okay, Bukola, you, can you talk to me now? Okay. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Fine, thank you, sir. God bless you. Yes, about the word of knowledge that um, somebody enters a room and it seems as if there's a feeling of, as if a fan may fall and the voice of um, a voice saying death, death, death. Yes. Father, I'm praying this morning by the power of the Holy Spirit, any altar, demonic places where strange demonic things are orchestrated from against Lord, your daughter this morning. By the power of your spirit, I decree that place of fire now. Amen. I decree every intention of the wicked ones over you and your children, I declare it reversed by the fire of God now. I Amen. Decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, the intentions of the enemy is nullified. I Amen. declare is hindered. I declare Amen. it is blocked. I Amen. declare it will not stand. It will not come to pass. It's reversed. Thank you, Father. I Amen. declare the spirit this morning that whatever the enemy has taken their time to put together by the power of God, that thing is frustrated now. Amen. I wherever such strange thought and activities coming from, 
I declare cease and let it be no more from today. Amen. In Jesus' anointed name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Now, everybody, right now, I want us to begin to pray. We are going to go into prayers now. I want you to pray. I want us to come against everything that resists our prayers. It is one thing to pray. It is for another thing for the prayer to reach where it's supposed to get. I want you to pray this prayer this morning. When the Bible said, I will give you a mouth and a wisdom that the enemy cannot resist, nor gain say over. I want you to begin to say, Lord, give me a mouth this morning that cannot be resisted, nor gain say over. It is one kind of prayer you should pray anytime you want to enter into prayers. Lord, give me a mouth. Pray that prayer this morning. A mouth and the, that can, the enemy cannot resist. Lord, gain say over. Say, my father, give me a mouth this morning that when I speak in prayer, the enemy cannot resist. Lord, gain say over it. The enemy cannot resist. Lord, gain say over it in the realm of the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, father, give me a mouth. In the place of my business, give me a mouth concerning every of my pursuit. A mouth that cannot be resisted by the enemy not gain say over. Give me a mouth this morning. Open your mouth and decree. Oh God, give me a mouth this morning that the enemy cannot resist nor gain say over. In my business, in my place of work, open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, my father, give me a mouth. Karusu kotobaya, rase kotoza, rekusu kaba, rakadabakodia. In the name of Jesus, I hear a good news coming to somebody's family. Somebody linked to you, they will tell the person that the cancer of that person has been healed. The cancer is gone. They will say the person has been healed of cancer. The, person, the cancer has been dealt with. There's somebody linked to somebody here with a cancer issue that lost the cancer. There will be good news about that issue now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I see Poroska. I don't know why I'm, I'm just being restricted from we praying just to prophesy. I see rain of good news. So to The Lord said to my spirit, there will be massive good news. And people will have been, the good news of another is different from the other. I see it coming massively like a rain. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree by the power of God. Let people, everyone participating in this prayer, you might not know, you might think you're only praying for yourself. You are standing for your family. You are standing for your children. You are standing for a generation. Today, let there be massive release of good news. As it's happening to you, it's happening to your sister. It's happening to your brother. It's happening in the family. There is a massive release. I see like rain. I decree. By this mouth we have asked for this morning, it shall not be resisted, nor gain say over in the spirit. Rain of good news. Receive your portion. 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 Aha. Zekwatika se koro di sata. Mankara bakusika barabahaya. Ekwa ketekedia. Hagere kezia. Zozo baraba. Barakadaba. I see good news. Oh, it's up to buy. I can see people by their name and I'm seeing what the Lord is telling me about them. Hear me this morning. I want you to carry this. I see somebody's promotion. I see somebody's lifting. I see good news. I see good news. Rain of 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 good news. Begin to fall on the prayer altar. Receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I want us to pray. He said in Mark 11, 23, he said, if you speak to this mountain, be that removed and be that cast to the sea, and what, and you will not doubt your heart. He said, the Bible said that you shall have whatever you say. I want us to pray against every mountain that is standing against we having what we have said. Every mountain standing against we having what we have said. Listen, it is one thing to say, this is what I want. This is what I want to see. But having what you say, begin to declare any mountain Standing against what I have said for me from having it, be cleared out of the way. Begin to declare right now. You have said what you want severally. Begin to declare every mountain standing on the way that is blocking me from having what I say by the blood of Jesus. I remove them from the way. Be removed right now. Be cast into the sea. 
perakata pakuzia egreli kuzumaya garapa kusunda kala bakura bakasa shan terebo kuzo garapa kuzibakaya baraka di bakasa baruko subrahadia kaleke kimazo garapa kuzozo egradi kuzumaya Iswa katikazia kaleke kezeha rusu barabaya kalikra bakuzia shan terebo kuzia pradika de bakuzia mangeleke tezo rusa katikada pradika ya bakuzia agereke de kuzuha prakatika zakaya ono karoba kadikida zu prakatika Baya kata bakuzo, predi kaya bakuzo, zawa kata bakuzia, rabak kadi bakuzia, marak kadi kuzia, prokusi bakuzia, ah, heswa kadi bakuzia, rabak kadi bakuzo bahaya, marabak kadi bakuzia kena, kaya kusi bakuzia kena, karena bak kadi bakuzia kena, supra kadi bakuzo, supra hani bakuzia, ayak kuasi bahaya, rasi borowa, kaya kasakuda, predi kasa bakuzia, rak kadi bakuzia. Every mountain that is standing on the way of what you have said, of what you have said, is standing against you having it. We command the mountain to be cleared away now. We command the mountain to be cleared away now. We command the mountain to be cleared away now. We command the mountains to be cleared away now. In the name of Jesus. We, we want to come against every negative speaking in the realm of the spirit. I want us to come against every negative speaking in the realm of the spirit. If you read scriptures, you see where the Bible says, Who art thou, O mountain, standing against Zerubbabel? He said, You shall be made plain. Who art thou, O great mountain? And he said, The hands of Zerubbabel have started it, his hands will complete it. Oh, oh, he said, Who? He said, Who? There are some who in the spirits. There are some who in the spirits. There are some personalities in the spirit that is standing against you and I. I want you to pray this morning. Every who, everyone that is standing against my projects, that is standing against me, standing against my, 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 my documents, standing against my desires, standing against my job, standing against my getting married, open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, let them be made plain. Let them be removed from the way this morning. Open your mouth and pray. Every personality, any who, whoever they are, speaking against the Rosikiti Mosul, open your mouth and declare, everyone standing against that which you have for me, standing against my building project, standing against that which I've been started in my life, open your mouth and begin to declare. Say, Father, let them be cleared out of the way this morning. Father, let them be made plain. Let them be made plain. Let them be made plain. There are certain people, if they don't get out of the way spiritually, you can't finish what you started. The miracle that started can be completed. The things your hand have started, you cannot get to the finishing stage. Begin to declare right now. Every who that is standing like a mountain, any man or woman standing like a barrier to the things I am pursuing, open your mouth and decree. Say, oh God, let them be removed. Let them be made plain. Every man or woman standing in the spirit as a mountain, as a blockage, as a wall, as a barrier to this project, to this financial favor, to this breakthrough, to my traveling, to my marriage. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever be your desire, mention it. Paraski Jabba, Zosapataya, Presiko Ziba, we declare them removed from the way now. Father, I pray with everyone on the prayer altar this morning. If there's anyone that is standing like an hindrance to what they are expecting, whoever is standing in the spirit, whoever is standing in the spirit, like a mountain, whoever is standing on the way to Parabakadia, we begin to declare, let those people be uprooted, be rooted out, be rooted off, be rooted off, be rooted off, be rooted off, out of the way now. In Jesus' name, let those mountains be made plain. 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 Let those mountains be made plain this morning. I decree any man or woman that says, as I'm here, you cannot be this. That is standing in the spirit. They are blocking every avenue. I decree this morning. Perakasi kususu. Get the case kupa. Tekada. They shall be made plain. The Lord will remove them from the way. The hand of the Lord shall remove them from the way this morning. In Jesus' name. We are taking one more prayer. Now when we pray this prayer, I want you to get water. I sense something this morning. And what I sense is that there is going to be healing. There's going to be healings. There's going to be instant healings and deliverance. I want you to get water. We're going to pray with water and we're going to use the water. We're going to pray. I want you to make this declaration. Do you know 
that Elisha prophesied at the time that by this time tomorrow, there will be food at the gate of Samaria. For a man doubted it and said something or the other, and Elisha made a pronouncement. He said, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. A word was against that man in the spirit. If, a, if there's a voice against you in the spirit, physical effort does not count. If it was by physical effort, the man saw the food, he was supposed to eat it. He was supposed to reach it. But a voice hindered him. You can be doing certain things, trying your physical possible best. But when there's a voice that is against you in the spirit, I tell you, it can make effort to be effortless. And that's why the Bible talked about the blood that speaketh. There is a voice in the blood of Jesus. And he says, the speaker than the blood. It, the blood speaks. It can part voice so that the blood can take effect. First of all, we want to pray. Every voice. Can you see Moses? Do you saw that Moses was not able to enter the promised land? Even if he had wanted to. He was not sick. There was nothing wrong with him. But he was taken by God to a mountain. And God said, look at the land. He said, but you will not enter it. Mm. I want you to pray. Every voice that is speaking against my desires in the spirit. Every voice that is speaking against my testimonies in the spirit. You said you want to travel. A voice said you cannot travel. And that voice is echoing in the spirit. Begin to declare, I silence that voice by the blood of Jesus. Every voice speaking against my destiny in the spirit, speaking against my moving forward in the spirit, speaking against my testimonies, open your mouth and begin to decree. Say, we silence that voice. We silence that voice in the realms of the spirit. We silence that voice in the realms of the spirit. We silence that voice. Begin to silence any voice speaking against your money speaking against that project, speaking against that appointment from being given to you, begin to decree right now. Let that voice be silenced. Let that voice be quiet. Let that voice be stopped. Let that voice be stopped. Any voice speaking, begin to declare now. Now let's elaborate the prayer. Say voice speaking from any altar, voice speaking from a foundation, voice speaking from any human, from any man or woman, any voice speaking. In the realms of the spirit, any voice speaking from any shrine, from any coven, from any altar, from any man, from any woman, from any realms that is speaking against my traveling, against my settlement, against my rising, against my health. Open your mouth and pray. Every voice saying no to the yes of God in my life. Let that voice be silenced in the realms of the spirit. Let that voice be quieted. We decree this morning. Any voice speaking sickness, speaking death over my life, and I want to live, and I have, I still have assignment of my life. Oh, you that voice, be silent, be silent. The voice that says, I will not have it. I will not eat the fruit of my labor. Be silenced. This morning we decree that by the blood of Jesus, we silence voices that is contrary to our destiny. Let the voice in the blood of Jesus begin to speak better things, begin to speak better things, begin to speak positive things, begin to speak good things, begin to speak better things in the realms of the spirit of us, in our realms, in our atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you this morning. Any voice speaking death in your atmosphere, we silence that voice. Any voice speaking failure in your atmosphere, I silence that voice. Any voice speaking all kinds of negative things in your atmosphere, we silence that voice. I decree this morning, the voice in the blood of Jesus will begin to speak your testimony. We begin to back up your testimony. We begin to back up your answer prayer. We're going to back up your release. We see Tabayada. You are hearing voices in your atmosphere that is louder than the voice of God. Today, we begin to saturate your atmosphere. We cleanse it with the blood of Jesus. Let any voice speaking that is saying no, that is saying no to your destiny. Let that voice be silenced. Anywhere that voice is coming from, we block their source. We sharpen their source. We frustrate their activity, their operations. We block them. We silence them. We silence them. Let those voices be quieted. Let those voices be quieted. We declare peace is still. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, can you get water now? Can you get water? <coughs> Open that water now. I want you to plead the blood of Jesus 37 times over that water. That water is going to bring healing and deliverance. Healing and deliverance and miracles. I believe God.
for some unusual testimony this morning. If you believe God with me, I want you to also, I want you to apply this by faith. I want you to speak, to speak the blood of Jesus 37 times over that water quickly. Very quickly, we are going to pray. Very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly do that. Make sure you plead it 36, 37 times. Once you've done with that, just get ready as I pray. Thank you, Father. Listen to me. Every health issue that has already been there, that is doing the damage gradually, the one that is coming already now, and the one that is yet to come, past, present, and future affliction. As you will use this water, they will be taken out of you. Some things are inside of some people's body. They are waiting for an appointed time to blow out. Evil, not good things. That thing shall be rooted out from their roots. I decree this morning, some of you, after you take this water, you will find out that you are passing out straight urine. You are passing out straight feces. It is the deposit of hell inside of your body. They will pass out within the next few days. Listen to me. I don't know what they have given you to eat in your dream or in the physical. And they are waiting for the time they will say your enemy is going down by the power of the Holy Ghost. The healing power of God is going to take that now. Somebody here, something is inside your blood, inside your body that is giving you air loss. But as you will take this water today, that thing will be addressed. Your air loss is going to be addressed. Skin problem. You are just having certain challenges on your skin you cannot explain. Is going to be addressed by the power of God. Father, oh God, all manners of strange spirits that, that their mission is to block people from seeing things happening for good in their life. That spirit will go. The power of God is going to address them now. Father, I release power. You said there will be instant testimonies. I release power into that water. At the count of seven, when I shout one, you will shout fire. When I shout till the seven times, you will shout fire. And fire will enter that water. The covenant God has with me in the place of prayer. When prayer is prayed on water, God will back up with testimony. God will fill that water with power. The water in your hands is going to be power. Are you, are you ready now? Father, let your power from on high that, that stir the water, the pool of the cedar, let the water, the power of God that stir the water and all of a sudden, the spirit of God move upon the waters. Let the spirit move upon that water and the spirit of God move on the, on the water and let every darkness, let light shine upon it. Let every dark area of their life, let light come into that area. Let healing and deliverance take place. Let miracle take place by the use of this water. Father, thank you for this confirmation. In the name of Jesus. One, <laughs> and you shut the fire. Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, <laughs> seven, by the message of God. <laughs> we release the fire of God now. In the name of Jesus. Can you put that water on your head three times and drink it seven times? Put that water on your head three times and drink it seven times. Thank you, Father. There's somebody, the moment you, you are applying this, I saw you just feeling weak. Your stomach started turning you immediately. Your stomach started turning you. I see you are pitching, purging. Something strange is going to come out of you. And after that thing comes out of you, the enemy, whatever they have planned for you, that they will discover your health and you have to go through surgery. That thing is going to go off. That thing is going to go off. That thing is going to go off. You are here. You are feeling some strange feeling as if you are not yourself, as if there's somebody on you. I want you to use that water to wash your face. I see something leaving you. I see something leaving you. I see something leaving you. I see pain. So, I see something growing in somebody, and they say it has not grown to a point whereby it can be operated. I see the healing power of God dissolve that thing and disappear it. I see it dissolving and disappearing. I see healing. I command healing now. Everything that came with you that has been on your body, oh God, let there be healing in the name of Jesus. God said it will, it will show us that look, with this healing, with this one as a sign of wonders that is coming. Major wonders are coming. Look, rain of goodness is going to hit this platform like tornadoes. 
That's it. Thank you, Father. Now, before we take our communion, now, the moment you apply this water, you got your healing, you know it, that something has happened to you. I want you to raise your hand. I want to hear from you and pray for you. Then we're going to take our communion this morning. Because the spirit of the Lord made me understand at the use of this water that, that a lot of things the enemy is doing in our lives, the funny things the enemy is doing, they will be discharged instantly. Father, we thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Jesus. I see heaviness leave. Evil spirit, check out to wherever they have come from. I declare pain disappear. That neck that looks like difficult, now the stiffness is gone. I raise I decree at the use of that water, that strange sickness that is doing you as if the way you are feeling, you don't understand, you have to go to the hospital. Right now, everything disappears from you. All strange deposit of darkness is gone from you in Jesus' name. Neko barabakadia. Oba. Not say, look, what we're going to see now is just signs. It's just signs. He said, wonders are coming. He said, wonders are coming. He said, some people, they will release a lot of things that belong to them. There will be miracle release, a lot of testimonies. We declare, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now, if you have an encounter with the use of this water right now, I want you to indicate your hand up. Now, let me hear from you as we, before we take the communion this morning. Before we take the communion this morning, the communion we want to take this morning, there's a prophetic word we're going to, we're going to enforce, we're going to decree at the, you, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the taking of the communion. There's a prophetic word we're going to declare, we're going to decree. Thank you, Father. There's none of the words said now that it's not happening. There's somebody, look as if they tied the rope, something is tied on your body, like a weight. I want you to sprinkle the water that was sprayed on, on yourself. I see that thing that looks like a rope being tied on you. I see it loose. I see the person loose in the realms of the spirit. Wherever that person is tied, I see that person loose. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I see that person loose in Jesus' name. Glory be to God Almighty. <laughs> Somebody has the person put the water on the hand. The person begin to have certain unusual impartation. The tongue, the way the person started praying, increased. It was like a new fire, a new fire, a new fire, a new fire has been released upon somebody this morning. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. A numbness in the fingers. I see strength has been restored back now. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Please bring out your communion. Let's pray this prayer with our communion, the wine and the bread. I want you to pray this morning and decree. Declare this morning that as I take the communion, that everything I have lost over the years, they shall be, they shall be recovered back to me within this year. Within the next six months, Everything I lost, whether within 10 years, within five years, they shall be recovered back for me within six months. I shall recover them within six months. Go with package 10 years, 10 years, six years, five years, three years. You will package them in six months. It will begin from today that you take this copy. You will start experiencing strange order of recoveries, strange order of restorations. You will seek God, restore back the years you thought was wasted in your life. The things you thought was gone. As you take this communion this morning, it shall be for restoration. Father, this shall be for communion for restoration. This shall be covenant for restoration. You will take people's years that, they, that was wasted by the wicked one. You will give them those years in six months. You will bring encounters and experiences that will show them that, Father, you have restored back what they've lost. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as this communion is taken this morning, we decree and we declare that by the power of your spirit, strange order of restoration has come. In Jesus' anointed name, we are praying. Amen. Do you believe that? Shout it loud, amen. God bless you. God bless you. It is settled. It is done. Amen. And your testimonies, they are permanent. In Jesus' name.
Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful time out there. Have a wonderful time at work. God bless you. See you again tomorrow morning at the same time. Have a wonderful day.